Everybody knows that Mondays suck. Let me know what I hate about Mondays though. Whatever. Waking up early. Mondays suck. This Monday sucks. I'm not saying all Mondays are created equal. Mondays are the worst. Monday sucks because it does. Hi everybody and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Celine Dion has wrapped up her residency at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace in Vegas over the weekend. In a statement, Ms. Dion said, I'm both proud and humbled by what we've accomplished at the Coliseum since we began 16 years ago when Renee and I first shared this dream. This entire experience has been a huge part of my show business career, one that I will cherish forever. The show began in 2003 and has been seen by an amazing 5 million fans over the course of the 1,141 performances. Here's a funny bit from Friday on Jimmy Kimmel Live. What would surprise us at this point? So we went out on the street, we asked people what they thought of the fake news we made up that Donald Trump had decided to add his signature to the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> and how did they react to that? Well, let's find out in a special Declaration of Independence edition of Lie Witness News. Donald Trump interrupted prime time last night to make a very special announcement. Where were you when you found out? I was sitting at home on the couch. Oh, were you with people? I was with my friends, yeah. And you guys were watching TV when it was interrupted? No, I got the alert on my phone. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Um, the alert, of course, was that Donald Trump signed the Declaration of Independence. Was that surprising to you, upsetting to you? Very, very upset, yes. Surprised, shocked, speechless. So did you hear the huge news that Donald Trump added his signature to the Declaration of Independence last night on prime time? Unfortunately, I did, yes. Where were you when you heard? Uh, I was actually at the gym just now, um, and they have, like, TVs, and I read about it. In, like, TV. Oh, I see. Yeah. Where were you last night when you heard Donald Trump sign the Declaration of I was, Independence? I was at one of my stripper houses or whatever. We chilling, eating popcorn, and he burned my popcorn. We seen it sign the, the Declaration of Independence. I said, damn. That's crazy. And what was her name? Her name was Big Booty Julie. Is honesty important to you? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I'm an honest person. I spent $25,000 for this, $10,000 for this chain. The, 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 my nose person was $5,000. I believe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're actually on Live Witness News. We made that whole thing up. Oh, nice. Great. I just made that up. I just responded to something that... Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. We appreciate your dishonesty. Yeah, I, I appreciate your dishonesty, too. Great. God bless America. <laughs> and God bless Big Booty Judy. That's right, folks. Once again, Donald Trump's ham-fisted bumbling messes things up. And when someone else fixes the problem, this time Mexico, he wants to be called the hero. What a dolt. By the way, if this Trump deal with Mexico and immigration is so good, why do we need a wall anymore? Asking for a country with better things to spend their money on. Letters written from prison by the late, longtime organized crime boss Whitey Bulger have praised Donald Trump. Well, you know, game recognizes game, huh? A Russian destroyer nearly collided with a U.S. missile cruiser on the weekend. It was as scary as going for a drive with Tracy Morgan. An Illinois man who ordered over 40 pounds of weed-infused chocolate has been sentenced to four years in prison. Strange days indeed. 40 pounds of chocolate weed gets you four years in Illinois, but in Colorado that's simply considered, you know, a pretty decent Saturday night. Foodies are calling the pineapple and mayonnaise sandwich a southern favorite. You know what? It's a safe bet to stay away from anything labeled southern favorite. NASA has announced it's opening up trips to the International Space Station to tourists. Of course, there are a few details to work out. For example, how to keep flip-flops on your feet in zero gravity. The city of Rome has announced a new get tough policy towards tourists who behave badly. If you get caught, you can't get out of trouble by simply paying a fine anymore. Now they make you fight wild animals in the Colosseum. <laughs> Are you not entertained? 
Is that why you're here? Good news. A missing Texas hiker has been found alive after a week in the wilderness. The bad news, he was gone so long they've filled his job position already. Hey, dudes who should, you know, probably get a compass or whatever, nobody gives a f this month, the planet Jupiter is unusually close to Earth and showing off its moons. You know, kind of like the Kardashians. Hey, you jasses, nobody gives a f and Spirit Airlines has banned some dude after catching him vaping on a flight. Of course, this also puts into doubt his continued career as a pilot. Hey, vape heads, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo. Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.